hi guys welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video you will see how to make a responsive navigation bar with center logo as you can see on my computer screen here i have one web page with the navigation menu and you can see this logo in the center after that i'll create the other part like this background image and text and these buttons so this is very easy to create this kind of layout on your website using HTML and CSS. So before starting this video, I will request you to please subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Now you can see this folder and in this folder I have some images and one HTML and one CSS file. Let me open these files with text editor. So this is my HTML file and this one is my CSS file. You can see I have already connected the HTML file with CSS with this line of code. After that we have to add the bootstrap link. For that we will go to the Google and here we will search bootstrap. Open the first website and scroll down. From here you can copy this link, this CSS link you can see just copy and add it into the head. We can remove this part it is not required. Again come back to the website and just copy all these scripts the copy and paste it into the html file in the head again we will remove this one and the second script we don't need so we'll remove this second script after linking the bootstrap files we'll again come to the same website and then click on this documentation next click on the components and scroll down here you can see navbar just click on this one and scroll down now you can see this nav here so from here we will select all these code just copy and add it into the body area simply save these changes and open your html file with google chrome so now you can see this navigation bar here on this web page first i'll remove this one and after reloading this page you can see there is no background color again come back to the html file and here we'll replace these contents so simply remove this one and last one also let's change the menu text here first one i'll write home the second one is about and the third one is contact so after reloading this page you can see the three menu here and first one is navbar it is a brand name simply just copy everything from this navbar nav and paste it again replace this text so i'll write login privacy and the third one is download so after reloading this page you can see total six menu here next we have to move these other three menu on the right side for that here i'll write ml auto now you can see these three menu in the right side Next we have to change this brand name so we'll remove this one navbar and here we'll add img source and the logo file name it is logo.png so after reloading this page you can see the big logo here on the left side. Now we have to resize the logo for that copy this class name navbar brand write it into the CSS file then write img and for this logo I'll write width it will be 140 pixel so after reloading this page you can see a small logo on this web page again copy and paste it here and for this one we'll write position absolute and left it will be 50 percent and uh, transform i'll write translate x minus 50 percent top 10 pixel so after reloading this page you can see this logo in the center let me change the screen size so that you can see this navbar is completely responsive you can see a drop down menu in the a small screen next we'll copy this class name and add it into the css file and now we'll write padding So after reloading this page you can see there is no space from left and right. 
Now you can see this shadow uh, on this toggle button. For that, we'll copy this one, navbar toggler, add it here. And for this one, we'll write border none. And outline none. Now you can see there is no outline, no border here for this toggler button. Again come to the HTML file and before this snap we'll create one div. I'm writing the class name banner and close this div just here after this snap. Just copy this one and add it here in the CSS file. Now we'll add padding left, it will be 60 pixel and padding right also 60 pixel. Now you can see some space from both the sides. Let's come back to the HTML file again and after this nav we'll write one div and class name I'm writing home header. So in this div first we'll create one more div and one class name I am writing banner text and let's add one text here so I am using p tag here I am adding br to change the line so the text is world's favorite travel booking app which uh, rewards user for every booking and refer now you can see this text on this web page this is very small text Next, just copy this one, add it into the CSS file and here we'll add the background image. I'm writing linear gradient to add some color over this image. So this will be the dark black color. Then URL and the image file name. Next we'll write background position, it will be center and background size will be cover. Now you can see this background image. It is very small because we have to add some space. So just copy this one and add it here. For this one we'll write font size. It will be 36 pixel and color will be white. Let's add some padding from left, it will be 4% and padding top it will be 220 pixel and some padding from bottom also. Now you can see some space around this text and you can see a big background image. After this text, we'll add one button. For that, I'm using a href and class name I'm using btn and btn primary. It is a bootstrap class and the text I'm writing download now. Let's copy this class name btn primary, add it here. Before that, I'll write this class name. So for this button, I'll add the background image linear gradient to right and some color here. Now you can see this button here with attractive background color. Next we'll add border, it will be none. and box shadow it will be none font size i am writing 12 pixel and let's add padding and margin top
So now you can see the complete header layout for a website. So it was very easy to create this kind of layout using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. If you have any doubt about this video, you can ask me in the comment section and I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like and share this video on social media. Thank you so much for watching this video till end.